Yes, and of course the tests have also been shown to be very sensitive to um, disorders very early in the course. So most notably, Alzheimer's disease. So, of course, the prodromal stage is represented by patients presenting with mild cognitive impairment, which means that they come to the clinic with subjective memory problems. And have they got Alzheimer's disease or not? I mean, this is one of the burning questions. If you can detect Alzheimer's disease sufficiently early, you can treat early before the damage is done, hopefully. That's the great hope for the future that the pharmaceutical companies have. But you have to be able to detect early so that you have a period before formal diagnosis because once diagnosis occurs in Alzheimer's disease, the brain already has undergone considerable degeneration, so may be beyond rescue. So you have this period of maybe two or three years where you have to demonstrate some kind of arrest of decline. And we, and we have such a test in CANTAB, it's the Paired Associates Learning Task, which has enormous specificity and selectivity and sensitivity. And I think probably vies with brain imaging methods. In fact, combined with brain imaging methods, it's probably one of the best ways you can detect the early onset of this disease.